Today we're going to be going over a few pieces of news on NEO and whether or not it could go higher this week. Let's get into the video. Hi everyone, my name is Zach and welcome back to Finance Bro. Before we get into the video, I'd like to ask you guys to please comment how many shares of NEO you have and then also consider leaving a like and subscribe as it really helps with the YouTube algorithm. And if you guys want two free stocks that could be worth up to $2,300 and you have not made an account with Weeble yet, what are you doing? You gotta get in the pre-market and after hours with us, all you gotta do is sign up, deposit $100 on the platform and you'll be able to get those two free stocks. In order to actually get signed up to Weeble, go ahead and use that first link in our description. With all that out of the way, let's get into our stock for today, NEO. Okay, so the first thing that I do want to get out of the way is the first piece of news, which is going to be Neo Day 2021. Uh, says how, I don't know how to actually say that, so if you do speak uh, this language, then I'm really sorry that I don't know how to uh, actually say it. Uh, but says how uh, wins the race to host EV Maker's annual event, beating out uh, the two other cities. Um, so obviously, this event will be taking place sometime um, in December for Neo Day. So that is a catalyst that we have to have in the back of our minds going forward forward but it is not going to be happening for about five months from now uh, but uh, news is ramping up on Neo Day um, and this is where it will be taking place sometime between December and January. The next thing that I want to get into is this article from Nasdaq.com which is going to be four reasons uh, why Neo stock is still a great investment today. Uh, so let's get straight into this article. Um, so we actually haven't talked about Neo on this channel a lot um, but there have been you know rumblings about Neo going even higher pretty soon so I figured why not make a video um, on it so Neo stock has had a pretty good run and the company is on an expanding spree this year Neo has been reporting impressive delivery numbers and its outstanding uh, results this year although earlier this year they did have one um, call where they said hey this month we actually did not be on delivery numbers but for the most part they have been pretty impressive however the stock has yet to reach the highs it's made in 2021 Neo stock was trading closer to $62 in January and it was as low as $31 in May um, when actually I decided to pick up some shares around the $35 mark. Um, but anyways, uh, it had gained momentum after Neo Power Day and the impressive delivery numbers. The stock is currently exchanging hands at about $43. We're closer to $44 at this moment. Um, I feel Neo is undervalued. This is the guy saying this and it has the potential to become one of the largest EV companies in the industry um, so yeah let's go over why he thinks that so first of all he says delivery and expansion so the fundamental growth indicator for the company is its high delivery numbers so they're just doing a lot of deliveries which in turn makes them a lot of revenue if you can take a look at the delivery uh, numbers reported by Neo, you'll notice a massive month over month increase the company delivered 8,000 vehicles in June, 6,700 in May, 7,000 in April, and 7,000 in March. Uh, so 8,000 in June is a new record. We see a consistent rise in deliveries, except in the month of May, which was due to the chip shortage. Obviously, we've been having a little bit of a problem with the chip shortage, uh, but that is starting to be quelled, and now Neo is able to ramp up expansion. Basically, it's not their own fault that they are not able to um, deliver and expand as much. It is the chip shortage, which is good because that's starting to go away. The company is setting new records with delivery numbers, which is proof that they are here to stay and the users, users are satisfied with the vehicles. It's probably going to be a Tesla type thing. Anyone who ever bought a Tesla um, anywhere from 2016 all the way up to you know the past five years have all said, wow, I can't believe I didn't get a Tesla sooner. My mom has a Tesla. She loves her Tesla. Um, and everyone is just like, wow, I can't believe I didn't get this Tesla sooner. That's probably what's going on with Neo. Neo has, also, Neo has also signed an agreement with Sinopec, um, which is on the New York Stock Exchange, uh, she, um, to build more than 5,000 battery swap stations. Its key selling point is the technology that allows users to charge the battery within no time. Uh, so it also signed another contract for the expansion of annual production uh, production volumes to 240,000 units, which is actually absolutely insanity. Uh, the, this shows that the company has long-term plans and is aiming high at uh, high 
delivery numbers in the coming years. Um, the next thing uh, that he also says is part of why NEO is still good. Uh, the company launched NEO Park in May. It's a smart EV industry park which is a one-stop shop for everything EV related. It's a great move for the company and will help NEO achieve domination in the industry. The parks will have ma three main areas, a living space, R&D, and um, a smart manufacturing. Uh, so basically, it's going to be something where NEO can expand more. NEO is set to establish itself as a key player in Norway. The company will operate the first NEO showroom at the end of 2021, so another catalyst there. It also intends to deploy the battery swap stations in the future. So basically, bottom line is that NEO has a lot of things that they are excited to expand upon and do, um, and they intend to do th these things pretty soon. Um, so yeah, basically it, it has become an established brand in the industry and Q2 results will be proof that the company is moving in the right direction, which those should be coming soon. Uh, so let's hop over to Yahoo Finance and go over a little bit um, of Yahoo Finance. So you can see here that they have a $72 billion market cap, which is pretty crazy, but it is one of the leaders in um, China for uh, EVs, which is a very, very um, huge thing in China is the EVs. Uh, so we're sitting at about $44 at close of July 23rd. Um, Earnings, obviously they missed by quite a bit in Q1, but in Q2 they are pretty positive that they will be doing pretty good. Um, as you can see, financials, um, earnings have been going up ever since 2018, and revenue is also going up um, pretty substantially, and that's not even uh, you know talking about what they've done so far. Obviously, quarter over quarter also expanding that revenue as well. Um, Yahoo Finance has them as a buy, as a two on their recommendation rating, and the average um, uh, price target is going to be 55 with a high of $92, which would be over a hundred percent increase from where it's at right now. Um, so basically everyone has it as at least a buy or a hold. This stock is one that is going to be good for years to come. And now into the fun stuff, into the stuff that you guys all want to hear about. Uh, so here we are on the one hour chart. Um, honestly, volume, very consistent for Neo. Um, basically they just go over whether um, or not, or uh, Neo just goes up whether people are bullish or bearish at this point um, but the volume really hasn't seen any massive spikes um, in the past couple of months but obviously they bought them out here at about $30 and I here's I'm going to present the case that um, we have a pretty good support line here at $40 um, so I don't think we will go below $40 if we do go below $40, we could be heading back to about the 35-ish dollar area, but I don't see it going below 35. I don't see it going below 40. I, I think there's uh, you know, a lower chance um, or a higher chance that it'll stay above 40. Um, but if it doesn't, then I think it has a very, very high chance that it'll stay above 35. Um, as for in the interim, uh, let's take a look at the 30 minute chart. We can see here that we have been bouncing up and uh, back and forth between $45 and $55. We have a pretty strong resistance line here at about the $48 area. So that's something to be looking out for this week. Um, and if we can hop above uh, this uh, $47 um, resistance and get above that $50 resistance, we could be testing that $55 resistance right after. Um, but overall, um, pretty strong support line here at $40, and uh, we are starting a trend back up on the MACD. Uh, we were oversold, and now we are sitting at about 40 RSI, which isn't too oversold. Um, but overall, it's looking pretty good for this week for NEO. Um, and that news just got released uh, that they will be holding um, NEO Day there or in that city. Uh, so, you know, I think that the overall trend of neo is going to be pretty positive this week and we can possibly get back up to that 50 ish dollar level but what do you guys think i really want to know make sure you comment your thoughts down below also comment how many shares of neo you have at the moment and consider leaving a like and subscribe as it really helps with the youtube algorithm that's pretty much all i have for you guys today my name is zach and i'll see you in the next video